Good evening. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I'm Missouri BB or Rita. I know it's been a minute. I don't even know how long it's been since I've uploaded, but a lot. And when I'm when I say a lot, a lot has taken place within the past couple of weeks for me personally. Um I'll kind of, I'm only going to talk, I'm only going to say it, but I won't go into any more detail about it. Um, most of you all who um, follow my channel or have been following my channel know that I say that um, I am in union with my divine counterpart, with my divine masculine. I'm a feminine, I'm the feminine, he's a masculine. Um, well, our relationship has moved to a higher level, meaning... I met the family. Yes, I did. That's all I'll say about it. Um, but anyway, um, work-wise, a lot has been going on. Um, spiritually, a lot of things have been going on. Um, I have been pushed to make a video, but... Either I did not have my cards around me or I didn't have a, a device to upload the message. And I didn't have anything to write the messages down. So, I know Spirit is tapping my hand about that. And I need to be better. I normally do have a, um, like a little folder, flip float, you know, notebook, notepad. But when the messages come, I'm not where I can do that. And I'm not, you know, my phone... I can I I can't use the phone, so I think in the future I'm going to use the phone when the messages come. Because I've been getting either love messages or it's been a lot of love messages coming up. It's been a lot of um questioning messages going on. It is what it is. But anyway, for this collective reading I don't know what's, what the um, reading is going to entail. Um, I'm just going to allow spirit to have its way. I'm going to ask for protection as we um, begin this um, reading. Holy Divine, I'm asking that you protect me from the top. Burn off first. Burn off any negative energies that may want to come in and thwart this message or attend it in any way, shape, or form. Um, send off any evil spirit, low vibrational entities people place things whatever it may be ban them from this space they are not welcome here and instead please cover me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet left right front back and anywhere in between and extend it 20 feet 20 feet of protection and because i know that my body this physical this meat suit this this temporary um physical identity that I have is the vehicle for my soul. I'm asking that you give me another a protection. Top of my head, soles of my feet, left, right, front, back, and anywhere in between and extend it another 20 feet. Divine, I'm asking that my, um, that of course you are always welcome. Archangels are welcome. The angels are welcome. My ancestors are welcome. My spirit team, my um, mermaids and unicorns and fairies and gnomes and dragons and everybody. Whoever is on my spirit team, my, my team in particular, I'm inviting them into this space. And also, um, spirit. I'm asking for the people who come into this space, wherever, whatever space they may be in in their home or wherever they may be when this video comes up, I'm asking that you invite their spirit team as well and protect them in the same way that I am asking for the protection for myself. I'm asking for these things. It is so. It is so. It's done. All right. I'm going to start. I'm going to start a little different. I'm going to start with what is this? Deck? The number, number numerology. I'm going to cut them. I've decided. I like. I think I like showing my face until I decide if I'm going to get. If I get a table, 
then I'll do it differently. But for right, you know, for right now, I'll just pull the cards, I'll show them to you, and then I'll lay them out. Spirit, what? Oh, wow. Didn't even get it out. Here's, this is um, what we're dealing with. New beginnings. Completion. So, if you're like me, you know, you completed a cycle. And so you got new beginnings coming up. And nine means you completed a cycle. Aces mean new beginnings. And passionate. Pat, red, chakra, sacral chakra, purple is your crown. So there are some things going on with your sacral and your crown energies. What's on the bottom? Follow your dreams. So some people have ended whatever cycle it may be that you are in. You've completed it. You've made it to the end. And so now you're beginning a new cycle, a new lesson, a new journey. And we'll see what it may be. When I bend down, I'm putting these cards down, down here. I still haven't figured out that aspect yet. I'm going to use Kipper now. Give us a brief something. Kipper, can I have five cards, please? What's the message, Kipper? Okay, two cards fell out. What's the message? Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Okay. Bottom is lovers. Lovers and a decision. A decision has been made or will be made or we'll see. But the first two cards, the first card was a house. So something's happening at a house. Something about a house. Great fortune. Mature woman. Thoughts. And adjudication adjudication so looking at this there's some decision wherever this house may be there's something about a house and great fortune so a house is going to bring great fortune or you have a great fortune and you're going to purchase a house and there's something with a mature woman um, because there's a man thinking about this woman, thinking about this woman. And for me, the, this adjudication card means making things clear. He's thinking about how to make things clear or set it in stone, legal, some type of legal situation. There's something legally being thought about. Whatever it is, it's going to bring great fortune. Now, I know a lot of um, people are in the energy of cuffing because it's fall now. <laughs> um, so, you know, there are decisions about that. But this adjudication makes me it brings me to the energy that this is legal. This is just not no um, temporary thing. Because they're standing in front of a judge. Okay. So. Let's see. I'm going to ask. And this is the, um, the Soul's Journey deck. That I'm going to ask about. Can I have a message on this house, Spirit? What's going on with this house? Okay, somebody is in the energy of fear. Now, I don't really know who it is yet. When we get to the tarot, 
it will tell us, but there is fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So somebody may be nervous, nervous at home. They're fearful, but it's just their imagination. Nothing to fear. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Great fortune. You can have a message for great fortune. Discipline. Whatever this great fortune is, is going to be because someone was disciplined. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Exactly. Um, because you're disciplined. And again, you were using your imagination. Your imagination. When you are when you use your imagination, most kids, you did, you did it as a child all the time. You daydreamed and you, you, know, you fantasized and all of that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much what your imagination is. And that's where you can manifest. You can think up things that you never, you know, thought of. That's why it's so important to go within and meditate. That's why it's so important. All right, can I have a message for a mature woman? Indeci indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So some woman is undecided about something. She's undecided. And it could be about what, how she wants to use her gift. Service. I feel good when I can help others. Maybe she's trying to decide in what way can she serve the community using her gifts. Can I have a message for um, thoughts? Relationship. Okay, so this man is thinking about I am attracted to those who those people who serve my highest higher good. So this so like I said in the beginning, this masculine is thinking about a, a decision with his feminine or counterpart. And he's thinking about making it legal. Making it legal. Because it brings him happiness. Can I have one for adjudication? Can I have one for adjudication, please, spirit? Okay. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay, so let's let's look at this. He um and I didn't even look at it. This is he's ending something with someone. Ending he's make he's ending a situation. And so he's looking to, uh, for forgiveness. And what's on the bottom here? He wants to move towards his happiness. There is a divine masculine, a masculine energy. It, it could be a you. This you could look like a feminine, but you can be a masculine energy. You can be in the energy. Um, you're making a decision to end something because you're thinking of someone else. You're thinking of someone else, and that someone else brings you great fortune. So they're at home thinking about this. This is somebody is deep in thought. Deep in thought about this. Um, I'm going to clarify with. I bought this little deck. I don't even know the name of it. Oh, hold on. Here it is. Mystical Lenormand. I bought this deck over a year ago and I forgot I had it. And I was going to buy the larger, the larger set. I've been seeing others use because I like those card those images on there too. But I remembered I had this, so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna rock with this. My uh tarot card collection has gotten here really huge and I need to slow down for a minute. But it's a few decks that I need. It's a few more I've seen that I need. I don't know the names of them. I'll figure it out. But let's keep going. What is this fear at home? Why why is it fear? Loyalty. This is the dog. They want to be loyal or they want to make sure that the person's being oh they couldn't shit out. They couldn't they couldn't stuff out. If you're not loyal, gone. Okay. 
All right. And um, great fortune and discipline. Great fortune and discipline. They on their, their journey. They don't know what they want to do. There it is. Okay. They're beating themselves up. They're in their head. This this is like air energy. Mentally, um, I don't want to say that they're beating themselves up, but they are mentally getting ready. Mentally, they know that this is going to be a long road or whatever to get this great fortune. They have to, there's a lot they need to do. And so they are pushing themselves to get this key. They know they're pushing, they know they have the key to this great fortune. They know they have it. And there's a dragon underneath here. It's a sleeping dragon. And, um, He's sleeping under here because he's guarding his egg. You got to be on it to get it. You need to activate your um, Kundalini. All right. Where that came from, I don't know. But anyway. And this um, mature woman and indecision. Can I have a card? Can I have a message? Waiting on the ships to come in. Maybe. New beginning. This is child. Um, inner child. She needs to go within. Whoever this um, mature woman is. Needs to go within. There's a new beginning. Look at your childhood. Look at what made you happy. Can't make it up. This is the key. The key to whatever it is that you want. Kundalini energy. Um, thoughts and relationship. Thoughts and relationship. Oh, he's making sure there's no, no, no sneakiness going on. He's looking. Looking at everything. Looking at, is this what, really what he wants? Is um, this relationship, is it really um, an honest relationship? Because the one you about to leave wasn't. Yeah, there's, there's Divine Feminine. He's thinking about it. Message on... on. He's at a fork. He's really think. He's really thinking about whatever it is the, this um, relationship, this decision that he's making. He's thought, and no card wants to come out right now. Okay, spirit, can I have a card? Oh, he will. Oh, he wants to make sure he's cutting out this, cutting out old energy. He's cutting that. He wants. He doesn't want to come with any baggage or any drama. He doesn't want to bring that into the relationship. Okay, one came out. Wow, the four-leaf clover. Luck. He knows that this relationship is going to bring him luck. And there, this fork in the road again. He's looking at which how he wants to do this. You know, does he want to take this road or does he want to go that road? Either way, we'll give him what he wants. Um, adjudication and forgiveness. He needs. He, he wants to end something. It's been a long journey long journey and wherever he where that relationship was very cold and icy it wasn't it wasn't a um, warm environment forgiveness and adjudication there we go tower it came in reverse somebody don't want it to end <laughs> tower they don't they don't want this tower moment this other person doesn't want the tower moment. 
They don't want it to end. I gotta look. Let me see. Do I have it? I don't know what this one means. I think I do, but I wanna see. Ah. Okay. They don't want the tower to come because they depend on this is anchor work. Divine masculine anchors them. They get money from divine masculine. They they get something, but something's ending. It's 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 a done deal. It's already going to happen. There's nothing they can do to end that cycle. Um, I'm gonna pull from the uh, flowers of the night oracle. Yeah, this divine, this person, they want forgiveness, but they don't, they want, they'll take the forgiveness, but they don't want to end. They don't want this cycle to end. But divine masculine, is, he's already thinking about divine feminine. He's thinking about her, but he know he needs to end this other situation. And the, this reverse tower, they don't, they don't want this tower to come. Can I have a card, a message? What's the message? What's the message? They want a second chance. They are asking for this. They don't. They don't want want him to leave. But it's ended. This is over. The relationship is over. Whatever they had going on is over, and so they need to be motivated to make changes in their life. Oh, that might be why they're beating themselves up too. What other? Can I have another message? A lot fell down, but I'm not taking those. I'll take these that are here. They need to understand that the relationship has run its cycle. Even though they have an affinity to stay in it. And when I think of affinity... What truly aligns, you know, they need to go for what, what tr they need to understand that they need to go with what they truly align with. They don't align with divine masculine anymore. Well, no, I won't say that. Well, they probably do, but what they, they want the money. They would like this opportunity. They like what they had and they don't want to lose this opportunity. That's what it is. They don't want to lose the opportunity. They want to restore this relationship because divine masculine is good luck to them. But they know he's thinking about somebody else. And they know divine masculine is, is awakening. They know that. A lot of these divine masculines are with people. They had their own little strangeness to them. Their own little alienness to them. They have gifts too and they know... With it, the reason why this divine masculine may be leaving is because he's he's found someone like him. And they don't like that. Yeah, motivation. They need to be motivated to go on their own journey and let that tower fall so they can create their own life. They need to create their own life. Because, uh, oh yeah, because Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine is ready. He's ready. He's getting his balance. And he wants to take a chance. And that other person is aware. Like I said, they are aware. They are aware that he is ready to move to his um, true counterpart. Now... I'm using the um, now, um, what is this? 
the heart psychic tarot can I have a message somebody needs to lead divine masculine needs to lead in this situation but he also needs to choose his battles because this person could could get kind of grimy but he's ready to spread his wings he's ready he's done and because a lot of work has been done um, he has a well-deserved reward coming but he's in here like I said this is air energy just he needs to breathe and if this is feminine you need to breathe just breathe your angels on the other side are there they're giving you whatever it is you need yeah that's that's an ancestor helping you and if it's not if this is not you um divine feminine this is divine masculine and his feminine energy he's he's all in his head just breathe Balance already came out before, or I spoke on it. So he needs to find balance. Because he has an um, opportunity for a new beginning. And I, I already said that this reading is about new beginnings. Because some type of cycle has been completed. But there is somebody in the mist that does not want to see this happen. Doesn't want to see this happen. But Divine Masculine is in this energy. Daydreams. He's in that's a manifesting mode. Anything else? Wow, I spoke about the crown chakra. Somebody's crown chakra, divine masculine or divine feminine crown chakra is opening. This is it's opening. And because this is happening, he's going to be able to see some things and he'll be able to confront things from his past, his inner child. He'll be able to look at those and deal with those accordingly. You know, divine masculines have inner child issues too. They, their issues might be worse than divine feminines. He knows people are, uh, they are observing him. They know that they know something is going on. They know that he's changing and blossoming. There's that fire. There's that that twin flame fire. He, this divine counterpart is understanding who he is. Oh wow! Take them both. And he's understanding. Instead of holding back, he needs to share the love. He might have been withholding in the past. Because he was very controlling. All right, let me let's move on. Oh, some more came. I'll take these. Um, he knows that he's coming together with his counterpart and with his inner child, but he's coming together with his inner child first, the by masculine. Is understanding this now and he's understanding this because his sacral chakra is being activated as well crown and sacral chakra he has a lot going on mentally and a lot um, creatively this is his base um, how you feel about yourself how you manifest all of that he needs to breathe I'm gonna pull a few more He's opening up. He's opening up. And because he's opening up, he knows he needs to move away. He needs to walk away from that past relationship. And he knows when he does this, somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose. And right now he's in this um, rest and recover energy. He's ending that. I'm going to take this. What he did, it took a dedicated effort. 
it took a lot for him to do this. And that's why he's resting and recovering. Um, I'm going to pull from... What is this? Sun and, sun and Moon Tarot. I like this card, this deck. Can I have a message? Queen of Cups. This could be a person or this could be some um, Divine Masculine um, using his intuitive skills. Intuitively, he's using this energy to learn something, to learn how to be more responsible. It's something about money. He's using it, his intuitive skills for, for that. Oh, a lot fell out. I'll take it. Um, and there were a lot of hidden emotions. Intuitively, he knows that. But because because he's doing some type of work, and it looks he's doing inner child work, and um, he's moving on, he's going to have a new abundant beginning. Um, whereas in the past, he was um, in this depressive state. Five of Cups. Very disappointed. Whoever he was with kept him... They were arguing all the time. He was always on the defense. Yeah, he was with the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles kept him very, very emotionally depressed. But he's moving toward the Empress now. He's moving toward his divine counterpart. Whereas he will not have to withhold from her. He will. He wants to give. You know, normally you see four, four of cups and somebody's sad and depressed. No, he wants, he wants to offer his cup. Now, he don't want to offer the cup to the Queen of Pentacles. No. Oh, wow. Oh. And he knows he's going to be victorious in doing so. It's taking a lot of strength, though, for him to do this. I have a message. Wherever they're going, Tim, this is where this is what he wants with his counterpart, with his new counterpart, not with the Queen of Pentacles with the Empress. He knows that his abundance he'll have way more than what he had with the um, Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Princes of Wands moving toward what makes them happy going toward their desires and there's that star there's the hope that they can reach whatever it is that they're that they're trying to go towards oh, okay i'll take these this is a, a past life soulmate that they're going toward and the stuck energy um, that they were in with the Queen of Pentacles um, has allowed them to look at this entire situation that they're in. They've been in with the, with that relationship and with the one that they're trying to manifest. They want to. Somebody don't want me to do this message. Um, they want they want to create the life they want. This is the art temperance. They want to balance it. In regular tarot, temperance means to balance out your energy so that you're balanced. But in um, in the other deck, the other tarot, I mean, yeah, um, art means they want to create and manifest the life that they want. And so that's what they want to do, and they they want to move forward in that. And it's taking a while. It's taking a lot of lessons. 
It's taking a while. Yeah, somebody don't want me talking. Uh, trying to turn it. And they know that the wheel would turn, you know, because they've taken the time, they know the, the wheel would turn in their favor. These cards are falling out and somebody's trying to make them flip in reverse so that they won't happen. But that's okay because once that wheel of fortune turns, they, he will get the wealth. Demon, you have no control over here. Get me out of my energy. They were shut off to things that they didn't know before. They were shut off to their emotions. They weren't seeing, seeing this. They weren't accustomed to that. But they're going to have victory. Because they're going to move away. They're moving away from that other energy. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. They're moving away. They're going to move away. Because it was a lot of uh, swords. And they're going to offer their cup. Even though they're in their head about it. Because they want to start a new cycle. I told you. I told you that this that there was a completion. There was a completion here. And here it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let me see. Anything else? Spirit is so funny. You're gonna have victory. You're gonna have you're gonna move away. He's moving away. He's moving away. He's moving away from a burden that he was carrying that wasn't even his. This Queen of Pentacles put that burden on him. And they know he's oh wow. They know they're watching him. Carrying a burden that wasn't his. They're watching him and doing all kind of fuck shit. So he's going within. Or he went within. Because this is what he wants. He's focusing on his love with his counterpart. And he's what he's leaving this energy. He's leaving this energy that... Because this is the energy. He's leaving that. He wants, he wants this. Because he's leaving this. A lot of confusion. This person, when I see this car, it, it kind of, I, I didn't really know how I like to read it. But in this reading, this person played mind games and then wanted to have sex. And it kept, you know, it kept interfering with the persons with them. But there's a change coming. Divine Masculine is taking power back. And it's going to allow him to have success. He's going to be able to balance out. And you see that power trying to stick up back there. And he's going to heal. And there's going to be judgment on that Queen of Pentacles. And if there's anybody else. Because Divine Masculine is transforming. Let me get out of this. I can actually stop the reading right now. Um... I will pull out these just to give a brief. These are the unicorn, unicorn tarot. I'll, I'll, unicorn tarot, can I have a little brief message? What do you have to say about the reading? Two of Wands, Divine Masculine, the action is being taken. They're looking at what they want to do. They've paused to look at what they want to create, yeah. And this is that relationship. Um, he wants to come rushing in. He's, he, he's made the decision. He's coming. 
coming in and by doing so i said the cycle will be ending there's this um cycle ending so a new one can begin i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna call this this is you can't make it up can't make it up he's he's moving toward this ten of he wants his happy family he he with um and and he had the fates are here he has fate is in his hands with his empress yep i'm gonna end the reading right here wow all righty i hope this gives you the message that you need now you know this may not resonate with everybody the whole the whole message may not resonate with everyone but there is something here for everybody that comes to this channel the whole story may not be yours but part of it and you need to um be in true alignment with yourself to understand where it is you need to do and if you're not there's work to do you need to work you know work on your inner child all right thank you for stopping by peace